Hi, welcome to Chuck Norris. I'm kidding. <laughs> Not Chuck Norris. Uh, I'm joking, Chuck. Uh, welcome to tape three. We're going to see attacks on the legs, foot, and some good setups. Let's see in these tapes the attack from the waist down. The first techniques I want to start showing this tape is the banana split. Okay? Let's Renato stay in this position. You can stay over there, Renato, like this. Open your knees a little bit. Let's start practice these techniques. That's a, it's a good technique for practice over here when you have opportunity to get somebody in this position. First thing I'm going to do is a good hold on the belt. I'm going to penetrate my leg right inside his leg over here. Okay? And put my elbow right here on his lower back. Now over here, I want to work for a hook in, in this foot and grab this leg over here. Now I'm going to start work for bringing him on top of me here. Okay? By controlling this leg here, I'm going to put the foot right here, like stretching the other leg. This hand is going to control his leg and start putting the pressure for forcing him to stretch. Okay? One more time. Let's do for the other side. Stay, no, stay right here. Okay? Okay, over here, penetrate, grab, bring him on top. You see, I use this hook to help. Oh, control here first. Stretch him. Grab a good control over here. Now I use this foot to stretch the other leg and start doing the stretch. One more time. Bring him on top. Look here. Look what I do here. I cross, stretch this leg. Now his body is going to be right here on top of my waist. Over here, even he stretch this leg, you can come outside here and stretch the other leg. The key is how well we stretch the other leg here. This one is basically like you want to hold. I like to grab like this. Sometimes he stretch this way, control this way, stretch the other leg. One more time. A good penetration right here. Now switch the body. Reach the leg. Start bringing him on top. Here. Control. Grab. Do the stretch. Okay, let's go for the next techniques. Okay? From the same position. Another good submission over here. We're gonna get Renata over here. We're gonna do a good penetration the same way. Let's turn on here this way, Hannah. Turn on more. Like this. Yes. I'm going to do a good penetration here. But instead of grab this foot, I'm going to try reaching this foot here. I'm going to start bringing him down here. And here, I'm going to start putting the pressure this way. Create a lot of pain here behind the mask. Okay. Let's do it one more time. Good control, good penetration. Instead, grab this foot and come to this foot here. Raise his foot up. Reach here instead here, more better to grab right here by his toes. Do the leverage. Again, the other side. Right here. Come here. Reach right here. One more time. Raise a little bit more. Only for practice. Move back a little bit. Hannah. Okay? It's good drill to practice this penetration here. One. See, grab over here. Two. From here, you reach this foot. Can you reach this foot? You do the first techniques here. But what's good in these techniques, you can combine here. You can still have a chance to reach the leg, cross, and do the same techniques from that angle. Let's do this combination on the other side here. Come here, reach, bring him on top here, but instead do the splits. Or right, bring his foot here, reach over there, you do the muscle lock here. Remember, good control. 
I like to cross over here to help to push. Let's do it one more time, Renat. Okay, let's do the first techniques. Come over here. Reach this foot here. Drag here. In case you try roll, lock over here. Or you reach here, grab the other foot. Remember, good control from the hip here. Uh, bring his hip here. Uh, good control from the leg. Do the stretch. Or switch, reach the leg here. These next techniques uh, uh, I'm going to show is the leg bar. The leg bar, I follow the same philosophy from the arm lock. No, the arm lock, not the arm bar. The arm bar, every time somebody straight the arm, you see the arm straight, that's the opportunity you're looking for to reach for go for the arm bar. The same philosophy I take to go for the leg bar. Let me show you a couple angles I really like on the arm bar. For, for go for the leg bar, I'm sorry. Okay, face this way, Renat. From passing over here, okay, let's start the drill from here. You want to raise this knee right here inside this leg, or you can go inside this leg over here. You can choose when you practice. I like to do both sides. Here, I use the hands to start putting the pressure here. When they put in the pressure here, it's natural, this leg starts going up, you go inside here, see? When you go inside over here, what I'm doing here, I'm setting him up, like look like I'm in tri-pass, but basically I'm setting him up to go for the leg bar. Because what I try to do here, you see his leg straight, that's what I'm looking for. But in this position here, I'm gonna up this leg, raise a little bit, come around. When they come around here, you see I switch the arm. My knee is going to be right here on his hip. When they come here, my knee right here, I'm going to sit here. These legs fight inside for escape my leg and reach the cross. Because when they cross my feet, that's how I'm going to control the leg. Like I'm not move around a little bit. You see, these give me control. In case I leave the leg open, it's going to give Renat to just swing the leg over Renat. You need to do a lot of movements in skate. Okay, again. My goal is always to fight for the control. Let's do it again. Okay, come here, start using the knee, setting him up here. His leg straight up the leg, come right here. You see, when he come right here, this foot fight here to escape here. Now I have a good control. When they do here, the foot come real close to my chest and start use the hip, like same like an arm bar. But the pressure here, you wanna go right on his knee. Okay, let's do a few times the same techniques. Okay, remember, inside, here. Raise, put the knee right here. When you put the knee right here, you see a catch here. I sit to the side, fight here, have the leg, now go for the finish. Let's go for the other side. Nothing. See, inside, start with the knee. After this work with the hand, fight inside. Now see the leg straight, up the leg, come right here, sit here. The foot come here, escape the leg. You see the control I have here? That's all I want. Now, one more time. Inside, you see his leg straight, up this leg, rotate, sit, come right here. Let's do for the other side. Inside, push, and set him up. The next angle I'm going to see it's gonna be instead going outside, I'm gonna go inside. But the setup is the same. Inside, here, the leg straight. But this side, you see when they stand up, instead they come around this way, I'm gonna step this way. 
When I step this way, I want to sit the same way here. Because when I sit over here, I have the angle to do the leg lock here, the leg bar. Okay? Same side. I do the setup. Come here. Step. Come right here. One more time. Here. Remember, raise this leg. You can slide your knee here, but you have a chance to step. It's much easier to do that. Let's do for the other side, Hannah. Now here, set up for the other side. Remember, his leg straight. I have to be in standing position to give him the rotation. Now look, come over here, step. Now sit and get a good angle here for do the leg lock, leg bar. Okay. Now let's do combination one time. Outside, here, one time, here, the other way. Here. Other side, here, now come from inside. Now, here. This is an excellent combination for your practice. I like to combine. You can practice first one side, after, the other, after this the other side, you start combining both sides. Okay, the next technique you're gonna see is gonna be the foot lock, okay? It's, uh, actually, it's one of my favorite techniques. Okay, I'm gonna be here in the guard, the same setup, staying here by blocking one leg. I'm gonna see every time the foot is right here inside this small circle here around the body. That's when the good counter. I'm not gonna try to do foot lock, keep his foot over here, because it's gonna be difficult for me to control his foot. But every time his foot right here, easy to set up. Okay, the first foot lock I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab right here first, a good control. This hand is gonna block here for coming right here deeper getting his foot. Now look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start using my own hip. I'm gonna try to finish here from here. Like I said, my philosophy is I soon have a chance to finish, finish. You know what I mean? I have a chance to finish over here. That's what I'm gonna do. Now let's do a good drill over here. Like I'm gonna keep switch. He erase his leg, grab right here. Block, grab over here, remember. Use the hip. Here, now I switch for the other side. Here, grab, come right here. Remember, not only here, but you raise your hip a little bit, like you wanna raise his hip from the ground to give you leverage against his foot. Switch, grab again, here, raise, use the hip. Okay, again, grab over here, ah, grab over here, start use the hip. Okay, the, the next way I like to finish, move back a little bit, Hannah, please. Slide back, please. Yes, a little bit more, please. It's like this. I grab over here, instead finish over here, I come and sit. When I sit here, his arm is still inside the circle, okay? Now here, his natural instinct is gonna be to sit up, to try fight here, but don't let him grab his foot. What I like to do is to use this foot right here. In my knee, in my foot, to try to keep him away. Now here, I'm gonna start fight for first control. After this, do the block. Here, my hands fight for block. Now I soon have a chance. I come for the block, get a good angle to use the hip. Hit, I use the hip. Let's do it again. Same setup, see? Come here, I wanna stay away from him. I just get a good angle, good control, tight, use the hip. Same thing, go for the other side here, 
here, see inside the circle, catch here, block, come here. I like to lean myself a little bit to the side. See, grab the here, tight, use the hip. You see, right there, I already lean him tight, adjust, tight, use the hip. One more time. Over here, use the hip. Thanks, man. Go to the side here. That's a good practice. You can practice standing, you can go down, practice both angles.